In 2016, the United States held an election to select a new president. The Democratic Party's nominee, Hillary Clinton, tallied nearly 65 million votes, while the Republican Party's nominee, Donald Trump, collected just under 63 million. Yet, Trump won the election. If democracies are supposed to be about majority rule, why didn't the candidate with the majority of the votes win the election? The answer is the Electoral College, our system for picking a president. Here's how it works. Every state gets a particular number of Electoral College votes, one for every member of Congress from that state. Wisconsin, for example, has eight members of the House of Representatives, plus two members in the U.S. Senate, good for 10 Electoral College votes. Oregon has seven Electoral College votes, Florida has 27, and so on. Add them all together, and you get 538 Electoral College votes in total. Each state then holds its own election to determine how it will allocate its Electoral College votes. Nearly every state uses the same simple system. Whichever presidential candidate wins the most individual votes in a particular state gets all of that state's Electoral College votes. For example, in 2016, Donald Trump won just over 1.4 million individual votes in Wisconsin. Hillary Clinton won just under 1.4 million votes. Even though the race was close, more Wisconsinites voted for Trump, and he earned all 10 of Wisconsin's Electoral College votes. On election night, we count how many Electoral College votes each candidate obtains. The first candidate to collect 270 wins the election. Why 270? It's a majority of the 538 total Electoral College votes. In 2016, Donald Trump ended up with 304 Electoral College votes to Hillary Clinton's 227. We must remember that we do not hold national elections in the United States. Instead, we hold 50 separate and simultaneous elections and then put the results together to determine who will be president. If a nominee wins by tiny margins in heavily populated states like Florida, and by large margins in less populated states like West Virginia, it is possible to become president without winning a majority of the popular vote nationwide.